Welcome back to our channel if you've seen our videos before and if you are new, welcome. My name is Hope and today I have for you guys a Vera Bradley bag review slash comparison. So this video came about because of a prior video that I've done and if you haven't checked it out, I definitely recommend doing so. That is the what's in my park bag video for the brand new mini backpack in Aerial Floral Ditzy. So in that video, it was a collaboration with my friend Melissa and it was so much fun to film. So I will be sure to link that up in a card. If you have not seen that video, I do recommend checking it out first and then coming back to this one. But the premise of that video was to show how much can fit in the mini backpack style. And in that video, I mentioned that I had been using a previous mini backpack before switching to the new Disney collection. And in that video, I asked you if you would want to see a bag comparison between the new mini backpack and the utility mini backpack that I had been using prior. And you guys said you would love to see that. So I am here to film it today to talk about the similarities, the differences between these two styles. And at the end of the video, I will tell you which one I prefer. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. So these are the two bags we are going to be talking about today. We have the mini backpack. This is in the brand new Vera Bradley collaboration with Disney. So this one is the mini backpack in Aerial Floral Ditzy. And then this bag is a classic Vera Bradley style, also fairly new to the company. And this one is the utility mini backpack. And this one is in Citrus Paisley. So these are the two that we're gonna be talking about. And I'm gonna go ahead and go through the uh, mini backpack in the Disney pattern first. One, because it's newer, and two, because I did already cover a lot of the, the things I'm gonna say about this one in another video. So I'll go ahead and get this out of the way first, and then we'll talk about the utility mini backpack. So this one, like I said, it's a brand new style to Vera Bradley. This one, first of all, they did have a mini backpack like a few years ago. Um, and that one was, it had a zipper on the top. It was very, very tiny. It was actually a little bit smaller than this bag. And that one they did away with for a few years and then the people wanted it back. So they brought it back in a Disney collaboration, which is the first time they've ever done a mini backpack style in Disney. So the great thing about this bag is that it is tiny, but it's super functional. I love the pocket choices that Vera Bradley made on this one, and I like the overall layout of the bag. So first thing that makes this one different is that it does have two slip pockets on the front, which I think are so critical to have a functional bag because this, you can stick your phone in it, you can stick chapstick, keys, things that you wanna grab really quickly. And this bag has pockets on both sides. I did bring my phone for reference as well. So this is my phone. I have the iPhone 12 mini and it fits absolutely perfectly in the side pockets of this bag. So it slides right in there and because my phone is the mini size, it fits perfectly in the mini backpack and it's a quick uh, access to get the phone back out. So I love that. And you have those pockets on both sides. You do have the little hook on the top so you can hang this bag for storage or you can also clip things to the top. On the back side of the bag, you do have two straps and these are adjustable. So they are 100% cotton. They're actually the same material as the bag and they do um, adjust all the way to 37 inches. So it can go nice and wide to fit all body types and shapes. And you can also adjust it to be higher up or lower, however you prefer to carry your bag. There are no pockets or anything on the back of this bag. It's just gonna be a straight swatch of the pattern. Moving into the bag, you do have a double closure on this one. So you have a flap that has a snap on the inside and it's the magnetic snap. So it does find itself super easily on the bag, which I love. And then you do also have a cinch closure on this one. And what makes this one cool is it is actually attached on the cinch pieces. So you can cinch this all the way down and you don't have to worry about the cinch like coming all the way off or anything like that. And then when you cinch the bag all the way open, you have a really nice wide uh, pocket on the inside here. So it's super easy to get things in and out of your bag. You have a zipper pocket on the back wall, which is great for storing things that you wanna grab quickly. And that says Disney Vera Bradley on the inside and talks about the recycled cotton that it's made of. 
And then if you flip it around to the other side, you have a slip pocket on the front wall as well. So lots of organization on this one. And because this is made in the aerial floral ditzy pattern, it is the same material on the front uh, as it is on the inside as well. So it's same pattern on both, which is fantastic. So that is the basic breakdown of this bag. I do really like that they seem to have included lots of functionality in such a small size, which is really great when you're talking about a smaller footprint. So let's flip over for a minute to the utility backpack and talk about the features and design of this one. So right off the bat, you'll notice that this one is a different material. So it actually isn't a different material, but the way that it's designed is different. These are both made of the recycled cotton, which is the brand new material for Vera Bradley. They're starting to switch all of their bags over to that material. I think it's fantastic. Honestly, I can't really feel a difference um, in the material, but it is made of 50% recycled fibers and 50% new fibers. So it still has the same feel that you're used to from Vera Bradley, but um, it is a little bit more sustainable and I love that the company is moving in that direction just to try to uh, reduce waste and all of that. So the main difference in the bag though is that this one is actually um, just the recycled cotton whereas the mini backpack is quilted. So if I bring this bag closer, you guys can see you just have a solid panel swatch of the material on the front. There is no stitching. So what I mean by stitching is the diamond pattern that is on a lot of Vera Bradley bags. So the diamond stitching goes this way and it kind of gives that signature Vera Bradley look. In the utility collection, which is what this backpack is, there is no stitching. So they're kind of changing up the look a little bit. Um, that's kind of what makes utility special. They are also trying to kind of trend toward a different audience um, who maybe isn't a fan of the quilting. So I think it's cool that you do have a few bag options that don't have the quilting. And because of that, it's a little bit of a softer material. It's a little bit more malleable. Um, it doesn't have as much structure to it as the quilted bags do. So just kind of it's something different to note. And then style-wise, because this is the utility, they were going for a very utilitarian look. Um, you have a lot more of these buckles and the kind of uh, fixtures that go on the side. And this one does have a flap on the front, but instead of a snap, it's actually a buckle. So you'll see right there, the buckle closure, you can open it and close it fairly easily, but it is a pinch on two sides, so it can be a two hand open, whereas the magnet you might be able to open with just one hand. And then when you open it, you do have a cinch, just like on the other bag, but this one is actually two pieces of uh, the cinch rope that are tied in knots. They're not connected to one another. So it's the same kind of um, cinch piece that moves, so you can still pull this one down to open. So that part's the same, but it looks a little bit different on the pieces on the bottom. So before we get into the inside of the bag, I do wanna note kind of the elephant in the room with this style. There are no side pockets. That is the one thing that I like the least about this bag because like I said, I love to be able to slip my phone on the side, things that I wanna grab quickly, I want to be able to put in a pocket and there is no pocket there to speak of. So that is a little bit of a bummer. Um, but in its place, you do have the utility um, snaps on the side. So these are buckle closure pieces and you can expand or cinch those as well. So the cool thing about that is that you can adjust how big you want to fit things in your bag. So you can extend it all the way like I have there. And then you can see you have all the space possible in the bag. Or if you have maybe a little bit less to carry and you want to kind of keep it more stylized, you can cinch that buckle tighter and you see it has a completely different look to it. So both are totally viable options, but because you have those adjustable buckles, you have a little bit more say over how you want to style your bag, which I do think is pretty cool. So it does not have the two pockets on the sides, but it does have one zipper pocket in the front. I personally love this pocket. I do think because it has a zipper on it, it's a little bit more secure than the slip pockets on the mini backpack. So that is something to note. And then if you pull it all the way down, 
you'll notice that it's a wider pocket as well. So it's almost like they combined the two side pockets together on the front and put a more secure zip pocket. So here is what the inside pattern looks like of Citrus Paisley. So it's a beautiful gray, and then it has some green kind of swirls and flowers on the inside. And then I haven't really talked much about the pattern, but this is Citrus Paisley. It's super beautiful. It's a mix of floral and paisley, which is what I love about it. This is actually one of my favorite patterns that Vera Bradley has come out with in a very long time. I think it's so beautiful. You have a mix of blues, some green, some orange, all kind of mixed in the pattern, which aqua blue and coral are my two favorite colors. Uh, so this pattern was like totally meant for me. Um, but I will notice the the flowers are coming out more orange on the camera. They're more of like a coral color uh, in person. So just to note that difference. But so there are no interior um, pockets or slips inside the zipper pocket. It's just one big pocket on the front, but I do like that it has a little bit more security to it with the zipper. That is the front of the bag. Flipping it around, you do still have the loop on the top, so you can still hang it. You can put, you know, clip something to the top like a hand sanitizer. Um, and then the back is also where you'll notice a lot more differences as well. So this is what the back of the bag looks like. You do have the gray um, seaming across the back just to kind of pull in the utility look a little bit more. It matches the buckles that are on the sides. And then the biggest difference to me about these bags is the straps. So they are very, very different from the mini backpack in the Disney collection. And that is because they are triple stitched and they are more quilted. So they have a little bit more cushion to them. They're a little bit more comfortable to wear. And because they have that triple stitching on the center, they're gonna hold up a little bit better than the classic cotton straps. So the cushion strap comes down to the base and then it switches to the uh, gray kind of buckle style. So this is almost like a nylon, um, feels very much like a seat belt, um, but this piece is only on the bottom part of the strap. So it's not gonna be touching you at all, but you do have an extra extender on it as well. So it can fit larger shapes, smaller shapes, or based on if you wanna carry your bag higher or lower. So I think that is fantastic. But yeah, that was the first thing that I noticed that was different about the two styles, is that this backpack has the padded straps and the mini backpack in the Disney has the classic uh, cotton straps. So they are stitched down the side and there isn't that third stitch in the center and they're actually quite thin. So they're thin straps made of the same material, whereas these straps are padded with that triple uh, cushion technology. So getting into the inside of the bag. So like I said, we already talked about the snap and the cinch. And then the inside is actually quite similar to the mini backpack in the Disney. You have again, that gray lining pattern. You have a slip pocket on the back. So this pocket is exactly the same. The only difference is that you don't have that extra slip pocket on the front, um, which honestly, I don't mind. I don't prefer to use that pocket on the front anyways. Um, I've talked about this in the other video for the mini backpack, all the reasons why I don't like that pocket. So check out that video if you're interested in that. But the other thing that you'll notice is because this isn't quilted, there is a little bit extra cushion to the bag itself. So you'll notice that it's a little bit thicker, it's a little bit more cushioned, and you'll see that kind of throughout the entire utility collection from Vera Bradley. It just feels squishier. I don't know how, how else to say that. Um, it's just a little bit more uh, cushiony and soft. I also think this would be great if you're traveling with a tablet or a mini piece of technology. This bag might keep it a little bit more protected just because you have a little bit more cushion to the bag itself. One thing that you might find super interesting about these styles is that the size of the bags in dimensions is actually exactly the same. I know. <laughs> so they are both seven inches wide, so this way. They are both eight inches high, this way. And they are both four and a quarter inches deep, this way. So they're exactly the same mini size as each other. The one difference in the dimensions comes in the strap length. The utility backpack with the triple padded straps have 34 inch extension on the straps, so they can go to 34 inches long. 
and the mini backpack in the Disney collaboration, the straps can go to 37 inches long. So you do have an extra three inches of room that this bag can go longer than this one. So the straps, again, are kind of the main difference of the two bags. And they are both made of the new recycled cotton material. So you can throw both of these in the washing machine and then lay them flat to dry. Do not dry them, they will shrink. I may or may not know that from personal experience. But <laughs> neither of these have been shrunk, by the way. These are, these are the actual size. Um, but you can put them in the washing machine, which is fantastic, especially for those of us who aren't the most gentle on our bags. It's great because you don't have to baby them. You don't have to worry about if something spills on them or if you put it down in a puddle, it's okay. You can throw it in the washing machine and they will come out like new, which is amazing. So that's pretty much it in my review of the two. So I kind of showed you the similarities, the differences. Looking at them side by side, they almost look like sisters. They are pretty similar in every way except the little design details that are different. So now I will get into my opinion of which bag I prefer most. So if I'm being honest with you, I have done a wear test with both of these. So I've worn them for a little while, kind of figured out how I like them. And I will say that I wore this one longer. So in my personal opinion of just wearing them both and the styles of them both, I actually prefer the mini utility backpack. The main thing here, guys, is the straps. I am kind of picky when it comes to my straps. I want them to be super comfortable. I want them to not rub or dig into my shoulders. I also really want them to be able to uh, adjust for me. And I actually sometimes am very bothered by this type of strap. Just me, again, because of this situation right here, where they adjust, this strap is just not nearly as comfortable for me. However, I will say you do have the extra three inches on strap on this one. So if you need that extra three inches of room or you just like the idea of this strap better, then I would definitely go with the mini backpack, the classic version, over the utility backpack. Um, I also found with the utility, I was super bummed at the fact that it didn't have the slide pockets on the side, which to be honest, I am still bummed about, but I actually found a way around that by using the utility straps on the side. So these little gray buckles, I actually have found that I can use those in a way that meets my needs without having to have the pocket on the outside. And that is by using pieces like this that can clip onto the outside to kind of meet my needs of what I need to put on the side. So for instance, this one is the little hand sanitizer keeper um, from Vera Bradley as well. And this one is cool because it comes with a clip on the side. So I can clip my hand sanitizer right on there. And then this little piece as well, I actually bought to match this utility backpack. <laughs> this one is the AirPods case in Citrus Paisley as well. And I'm just going to show you this up close because it's too adorable not to. But this one, again, is in that same citrus paisley. And it comes with a little carabiner on the top so you can clip it onto anything as well. And then it does have a full zip around closure. I actually don't use mine for AirPods. I use mine for other little pieces that I need to get to quickly. So I have chapstick, I have hair ties, I have a um, thumb drive in there. And it's just those things that I don't want to have to dig all the way to the bottom of my bag to find. And so this guy clips perfectly onto the side um, buckle of the utility backpack. So I'll show you guys. So this is what it looks like when those are clipped. So I have the little AirPods case and then I have my little hand sanitizer and they fit so well on this side clip. So now you could put one of these on each side if you want balance or if they can be on the same side, whichever. But I just wanted to show you guys there are ways that you can get around having those side pockets because this is everything that would be in the side pocket anyways, like my chapstick, uh, hair ties, the hand sanitizer, those things would be on this side pocket anyway. So the only bummer about this bag is that it doesn't have one for my phone. So if and when I use this bag, the phone will just have to sit on top of 
everything else that's in my bag. Um, so it actually will end up sitting close to the top when I have the bag full, so I don't have to worry about, you know, it's not that much of a, of a bummer for me to not have that side pocket. My phone does actually fit in the front slip pocket of this bag as well. So again, I have the iPhone 12 mini and it fits perfectly in that front pocket. So I really have all the things I need on the outside of my bag, easy to grab, ready to access without having the side slip pockets. So for me, I found a way that this bag works excellently for me uh, without having the slip pockets. So. That is just a little added thing. I think this uh, AirPods case is $15. I want to say the hand sanitizer is like 10 or 12. So again, it's not that much extra, but it adds so much extra function to this bag for me. And I still have the really comfortable straps on the back. Now this utility mini backpack does come, I want to say in six colors. I think it comes in two patterns and then like four solid colors. So if you want like solid green, solid black, solid gray, this bag comes in a lot of different options. And as of right now uh, with Vera Bradley, this is the only mini backpack pattern that is out right now. I do think if this style ends up being super popular, they will continue to make this backpack um, in other patterns and colors. And obviously the other thing that this mini backpack has going for it is the fact that it's Disney. It has a little bit of that extra magic uh, with Flounder, Sebastian, and all of their under the sea friends in there as well. So it is a huge bonus to have that too. So that is my comparison and review of the mini backpacks from Vera Bradley. Let me know in a comment down below, one, do you own any of these backpacks? Do you like them? What style do you have? And two, if you don't own any of these backpacks and you are interested in one of these styles, let me know which one you're leaning towards because I really hope that these videos were able to help you if you are on the hunt for a mini backpack and you just wanted more information. I hope this video was helpful helpful for you. I will also link the Vera Bradley website down below if you would like to check out the utility mini backpack. I believe the mini backpack in Aerial Floral Ditsy is sold out on the website right now, but they do restock very often, so I would be sure to check them. Keep checking, keep refreshing, because you never know when it will come back. And I hope that you guys are able to find the backpack that suits you the best. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below so you don't miss any future bag reviews or Vera Bradley content from me. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.